What's good, everybody? How's it going? I'm back. I'm still alive. I lived, bitch. I got home from jury duty, which I was selected for, despite all your awful advice, everybody. Thanks. I've learned a lot of, to be honest, though, I've learned a lot of very useful strats uh, about jury duty, and I also learned some very interesting tech vocal techniques as well as public speaking abilities um, from what's going on. No, the trial is still going on. I can't tell you guys about any of the details or anything. I'm only going to speak vaguely about jury duty until it's over. Once it's over, you're allowed to talk about it, but you know. Uh, about jury duty, you can't say any of the details of the case or talk about it. All I can say is that I've been selected, and I've also selected Tektro to get hit by this sick segue. Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime. Everybody's suggestions for jury duty, they suck. Okay, so jury duty works like this, if you guys aren't familiar. I, in this case, I'm calling jury. They bring in a rather large group of people. I would say almost 100 people, and they need like, I don't know, let's say the case, they need 12 people and an alternate or something, right? For this case, they would like ask the jury questions. It's very usual questions. What do you do for a living? Uh, do you have any kids? What do they do for a living? Do you know anybody in the case? That's very common, right? Do you know anybody that's in this case or whatever? Because automatically you get stricken for that. Do you uh, have any biases about this, right? Like, do you have any biases about the content of the case? So let's say the case is a pie baking company or something. If you bake pies for a living, right and you hate certain companies and you're like well yeah i bake pies for a living and it's like oh do you work for x company yes and it's like well this lawsuit's about that company we can't have you on the case right so that's that's pretty normal so i think sometimes the excuses that people have to get out of jury duty are reasonable right it makes sense it's connected to the case or something like that their biases make sense their pie, their mother was killed in a tragic pie baking accident so they feel very strongly about pie baking, right? And anybody who bakes pies they consider evil. Sure, makes sense. I get it. You have a bias that's reasonable when related to the the case, right? But I'll tell you what. These motherfuckers, man. I didn't realize that when you do the oath and you say, I'll tell the truth and I'm, you know, I'll do it to the best of my ability. I'll tell everything, blah, blah, blah. I didn't realize when you said that you were still allowed to lie. I thought it meant you had to tell the truth. I didn't realize when you say, like, I, I swear to tell the truth uh, in this jury box if you guys summon me, et cetera, et cetera, nothing but the truth, right? I didn't realize that these motherfuckers just all lie because I'm telling you right now, they gave us the case, right? And they're like, so here's the basics of the case, right? Here's the basics of the case. Does this line up with any of your personal biases? Is there a reason you couldn't be justifiably like uh you know reasonable about this case every motherfucker's like your honor for a living uh you know i work in cold stone creamery and i give people ice cream it's like perfect not related to this case at all right do you do any of this do you have any adult children that do this any of the questions none of them they get to the final question it's like do you have any biases that would prevent you from being the, like honest about this case right this case is about pie baking and something that happened there, right? These motherfuckers, every single person on the mic, they'd be like, your honor, my cousin's girlfriend's dog's sister's ex-wife, friend of a friend was killed in a tragic pie baking accident. And I couldn't possibly serve on this jury because every time I think about it, sorry, I just get a little choked up and it's just, I. I'm sorry. It's just so hard for me, Your Honor. And I, I think that if, well, if you ask me to be honest about whether somebody baked pies or not, if I knew that they baked pies, I think it would just bring up so many hurtful memories that I wouldn't be able to be honest. And this motherfucker on the thing is like, well, uh, counsel, I think that, uh, I just, yeah, well, we'll go back and we'll just we'll have a quick sidebar. We'll discuss if any of the, the jurors maybe wouldn't fit this description. And I'll tell you what, they went down the line. 18 people Jesus Christ it was like 15 out of the 18 were like my mother's ex-girlfriend's dog sister's cousins friend of a friend had an accident back in 1983 that got you know it's just fucking everybody's got an excuse it goes as 
far back as they could reach. It's just these motherfuckers be making shit up. It's crazy. I can't believe it. So I have to go up there and I have to give my speech. And I fucked up. I realize now that my strategy to get out of jury duty, it it didn't work because I had a I had a reasonable excuse compared to the other excuses that I had heard. I had a reasonable excuse that I thought could have got me out of what they were talking about. Like, I had a pie-baking-related incident, right? Uh, I was like, I can do this. I have one that'll get me out. But by the time I made it up there, they've been through 40 excuses. And the judge says out loud, let's see if we can just finally nail a jury do like a jury down today, blah, blah, blah. He's getting pissed. And I'm like, I lost my excuse. He is sick of these motherfuckers' excuses. He's not going to believe my excuse for a fucking second. I explained what I did for a living. Everybody was like, oh, this is so sick. They all fucking popped up. And I was like, oh, shit. I realize now that what I should have done, uh, this is my mistake. What I should have done when it came to biases was not gone after pie baking. I shouldn't have related it to the case. I should have, and I realize this now, attacked the lawyers and the judge. And what I mean by that is because of what I do, what I should have said is, as an occupation for a living, I commentate competitive video game tournaments on television and on the internet, uh, different places around the world, right? That's what I let in with. Go through all the questions, do everything else, hit the very bottom. Is there any biases that would prevent you from participating in the case? What I should have said, and it's what I felt inside but didn't say, is yes. One of the prosecu- or one of the, the lawyers was speaking earlier and I realize my bias is about the public speaking ability of those in the court. So when it comes to the judge and the two lawyers or whatever, right, I'm going to be judging the way they speak the entire time. And when they have errors or mistakes in public speaking, it's going to affect me strongly because that's what I do for a living. So like earlier, one of the people who was one of the lawyers, their voice was very shaky. And I should have said something about it. I should have called them out and been like, yeah, for instance, you know, when you talked about this, your voice is a little shaky and it made me kind of question your validity here. Just like it's valid that Nitrous has hit me with the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. What up, Sky? I should have came after their bitch asses for their public speaking. That's what I should. I should have attacked them because they were the ones excusing people. So I realized that if neither of them trust me, that you got to trust in the fact that Dr. Phil has hit us with the two months in a row. Thanks very much. It's a really good way to get yourself found in contempt of court. That's what I'm, I was afraid of. I didn't bring it up because of that reason. But you have to understand, I didn't have... By the time I made it there, what I'm saying is the if the court case is about pie baking, by the time I made it up there, they've been through 40 different excuses about pie baking. If I just have another, my dog, sister's, girlfriend's, uncle's, friend of a friend was killed in a pie baking accident in 1984... They're not going to buy it at that point. They've already been through too many people. If I'm early, my excuse will work. If I'm later, my excuse is getting thinner and thinner and thinner. I'm running out of time. What kind of court casing? Uh, court case was about pie baking. Let me, all right, let me rephrase that. The court case is about made-up court cases because I, I don't want to share the details of the court case because it's still going on. Do you get what I mean now? I learned a lot about public speaking and about misdirection and redirecting things. And I also learned some very powerful strategies um, from both from a lot of different people about public speaking. These motherfuckers are slippery. I'll tell you what. I do speak in public. I So I do public speaking for a living, right? And for that reason... I found that many of their strategies uh, are actually like really interesting. They have some interesting public speaking strategies. In particular, one of my favorite strategies that from the whole time, and this doesn't always work, and this is a classic strategy, right? Is like when you have a discussion and you say there's a pie baking incident that happened, and you know uh, members of of the jury, potential jury, uh, judge, you know, your honor, et cetera, et cetera. There's one thing that we we don't know. And that's who's guilty. And when you say the word guilty, you look right at the accused. Guilty. And we don't know who's innocent. So what we're here today is to figure out the truth. And when, I'll tell you, when they said the words guilty and looked at the accused, some lady in the audience, I saw her, was like, (gasps) and immediately covered her mouth. 
What do you mean it works that easily? Oh my god. She was convinced. She was like, oh, he's guilty. I was like, what the fuck? That can't be that easy. I was like, you can't be, uh, like, misled or, uh, set a, like, set astray that easily. Yeah, she legit was like, I never, I can't believe it. And I was like, lady, it hasn't even started. You haven't even heard anything. It was a potential jerk. I was like, oh, my God. Pie baking, how could you? I also realized that public speaking is hard for a lot of people. And a lot of people really suck at it. So some of their weak, uh, their weaknesses you can notice very fast. And I don't mean weaknesses like, hey guys, um, this, this, and that, um, like you know this, like uh, this, and uh, like the pausing and the uhs and the ums that happens. No matter how good you are, that's gonna happen to everybody, right? But the strategies and how you get around it and avoid it and manipulate those pauses are important and also how you redirect is important as well these motherfuckers are good the the issue and we'll tie this into the mk reveal so mk is being revealed tomorrow uh they're having a live stream at 11 a.m my time in los angeles i was invited out there i didn't make a big twitter post when i was invited so i didn't like go out there and like what up guys i'm sick here's my twitter post i made it boys no 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 like i didn't do any of that uh but i was invited so i have an invite to go out there and check it out and um i get to go to do it but the problem is i have jury duty uh i will probably it seems like be free in the early afternoon or, or like maybe even earlier to do what i like for the rest of the day and if that's the case that means i can rush over to Los Angeles and make the reveal, right? Uh, I might not make it before the stream is done or whatever, but afterwards the game will be playable for a while. I think like four hours. And I think there's a good chance I, I make most or all of that. Uh, we'll see. So I think that, that I have a good chance of making that. So if I do get to go over there and play it, I'll come back home and I'll the next day give you guys my thoughts on playing the game, getting my hands on it. Uh, MK, if I don't get to make that, then I will do, I'll watch the footage, right? And I'll watch out for people like the Ham Hub who hit me with a tier one sub. Thanks very much. Uh, I'll give some like, you know, feedback or some impressions based on the footage I saw, my thoughts on it and, and shit like that, right?